Action Camp. It is performed in a selected camp that contains 10 to 20 houses. The selected houses are from the wives of the initiating junior elders. The camp is located in a convenient location near the home of a friendly age mate. The age set is allowed to have as many meat-eating camps as they need throughout the region. The meat ceremony permits the warriors to eat meat prepared by the women of the homestead. Every graduating warrior is anxious to see this date. A specially chosen bull is slaughtered for the ceremony. The last age set initiation is Olengeshe, or the Junior Elders Initiation, and marks the status of a junior elder. It is performed in a selected camp that contains 20 or more houses. Everyone in the age set looks forward to this final initiation. Every man is honored with an elder's chair in this ceremony. In the early morning of the day of the event, he will sit on the chair and be shaved by his wife. This chair becomes a man's companion until it is broken or until his death. After the ceremony, a man would become an elder and would assume full responsibility of his own family. The Inota ceremony marks the end of one age set period of active junior warriorhood and their promotion to senior warriors. This initiation permits senior warriors to marry and prepares them to become future elders. Honorable William Olentimama had these choice words to congratulate the graduating warriors. This is the last day of this manyata. After the big cultural ceremony of the Umoto, so we have come to really wish them well and they did their ceremonies very well. And I'm sure you people have been here before because we want to maintain and hold and respect our culture. We think if we go and throw our culture, it will not be the right thing. We might end up being servants of our people. They have vowed that they will hold their culture, they will maintain it, so that these children will grow in the culture of their forefathers and so on. For those involved, the ceremony is the beginning of their acceptance into full adult life, which will culminate, if they live long enough, in their respected status as senior elders. Completion of the ceremony entitles them to take wives and raise families, although for many it also marks the end of the most privileged times of their lives. At the end of the ceremony, the Olotuno may select any girl he chooses for his wife and after undergoing further rituals, the restrictions on drinking milk and eating meat, which applied throughout his junior warriorhood, are finally lifted.
The rituals of the Maasai people serve to maintain their political structure based on age sets. 